Um, as introduced, um, I'll be talking, I'm Vijay Shamdasani. There was a very good introduction, thank you. I'll be talking about a topic that's very important uh, in healthcare today, and that's the management of liver disease. And we'll talk about some of the innovations that Philips has, and some of the clinical impact that you can have in your hospitals, in your clinics, with the tools that we have developed. So before we go into the clinical innovations, let's take a step to talk about the liver. The liver, as you know, is the largest organ in the human body. It allows us to be able to filter harmful substances from the blood. It has a digestive role. It takes substances from the blood and converts it into, uh, into things that are important for life and growth. But diseases can affl afflict the liver as well. But the liver is very regenerative. Liver is one of the only organs in the body that can regenerate itself but there are conditions in which the regenerative ability of the liver is impacted. And this is when scarring happens in the liver. So if there is enough scarring that happens in the liver tissue, the liver can no longer regenerate itself as its regular function is. And this is when a patient has cirrhosis. And complications, as well as problems due to cirrhosis, can kill many individuals. Now, liver disease is something that afflicts millions of individuals globally. And uh, this liver disease can be caused due to multiple etiologies. You have the hepatitis viruses, the hepatitis C, the hepatitis B. You have liver fat, fatty liver disease, or non-alcoholic non fatty liver disease, as it's called. And you have alcoholic, fatty liver, uh, alcoholic uh, liver disease as well. And all of these diseases end up causing scarring in the liver, leading to cirrhosis. Now when you look at chronic liver disease and cirrhosis, it's the 12th leading cause of death in the US. And uh, the challenge with liver disease is not just that it's the 12th leading cause of death, but 50% of these individuals don't know that they have chronic liver disease. Many of these individuals, the first symptom that they have, they have that, that, that they have a liver disease is a blood test in which you have abnormal liver enzymes. And that's when they know that they have, they have a liver disease that, that needs to be looked at, that needs to be treated. It's even more severe, the liver disease is even more severe when you look at a population of individuals in the US between 45 and 65 years of age, the baby boomers as we call them. In the baby boomers, chronic liver disease and cirrhosis related uh, complications is a fourth leading cause of death. A lot of this, uh, a lot of this is caused by hepatitis C, virus, and hepatitis C virus is a problem that afflicts one in 60 individuals. And many of these individuals that have hepatitis C, which is causing liver damage, liver fibrosis, liver scarring, is undetected. Two thirds of these folks that have hepatitis C do not have any symptoms, do not even know that they have hepatitis C. Hence, this is called the silent epidemic where individuals that have hepatitis C, don't know it, are going through decades of life with their livers getting damaged, and by the time they have a diagnosis, it may be too late for the liver to fully regenerate itself. But let's hope for these folks with hepatitis C. In recent years, there have been pharma pharmacological agents that have developed that 90% or more of these individuals with hepatitis C can now be cured. All it takes is a simple blood test to determine if an individual has hepatitis C, and these pharmacological agents can then help them be treated. However, clinical decision on who to treat with these very expensive pharma pharmacological regimens that exist for hepatitis C requires that they are targeted to individuals that have the best possible outcomes. And for detecting kind of the individuals that have the best possible outcome, liver biopsy still remains the preferred choice of being able to do this. But liver biopsy is not just expensive. It can be painful and cause anxiety to the patient. But at the same time, there's a waiting period involved before the patient knows whether they have damage caused by hepatitis C or not to determine whether they'll get the regimens of drugs that can help cure them. And this is where we are this is where we are kind of um, really excited to announce Philips Innovation Technologies and a package that we have put together 
And this package is the ultimate ultrasound solution for liver assessment. And this ultimate ultrasound solution for liver assessment is a combination of four tools that you have that allow you to be able to have a patient that comes in be diagnosed, be monitored over time, and it also helps be able to manage the patients when they're being treated because of liver disease. There are four different components of the package or the solution, and these four different components are what we are gonna walk through one at a time. So we start with the Philips Pure Wave Crystal Technology. The Philips Pure Wave Crystal Technology is the biggest transducer breakthrough in more than 40 years. What this has allowed Philips to do is have transducers that have the best bandwidth, the penetration, and the resolution so that even the most difficult to image patients that you have can now be imaged with ultrasound with confidence. And the Pure Wave technology found, forms the foundation of the other pieces that you'll see behind this. Philips Elasq Imaging. Now this is a tool that allows live color-coded imaging of liver stiffness. Not only are you capable of being able to have live images that show you what the stiffness is in color, but you could freeze the image, put markers on the image, and then be able to get a value, a stiffness number that you can quantify. You can get reports, as you can see, kind of in this patient, you have four different regions that have been placed, and you have numbers in kilopascals. Kilopascals, meters per second, two different units that can be used to quantify what the liver stiffness is. And liver stiffness is related to liver fibrosis and cirrhosis. Higher is the stiffness of the liver, higher the values are. It indicates the patient has a higher likelihood of having cirrhosis or fibrosis of the liver that can lead to complications in the future. So that's why Elasky Imaging provides a non-invasive reproducible tool to be able to look at liver stiffness and, and uh, get assessment of liver fibrosis. And uh, this is where you see some of the ad advantage, the benefits you have of, uh, of the Elasky Imaging. You have a large region of interest, the image is running in real time as you can see. You have versatile sampling techniques that allow you to sample a large region of the liver, determine kind of whether it has fibrosis or not. You can do retrospective measurements where you can collect these loops of information, go back, review them, and get information about the stiffness numbers, the quantitative numbers that are tied to the liver stiffness and ultimately to fibrosis. We also have a unique confidence map that gives you an indication of which regions inside the liver have the strongest signal, the strongest shear wave signal that can be used to quantify liver stiffness. And this shows you kind of that visually, as well as with numbers, you can differentiate between a liver that's normal on the left, where you have numbers of 4.2, 4.1 kilopascals indicating a liver that's soft, that's kind of where the number should be. And on the right, you see a liver, uh, uh, the uh, image from a patient with fibrosis. And immediately, visually, you can identify that there is higher stiffness regions. And the numbers also confirm that this patient has severe fibrosis. This is the confidence map that we talked about, where side by side, you just not, not only get on the, on the right panel the stiffness information, but on the left panel, you have what's called a confidence map, which uses the colors of the traffic light. Red indicates these are regions where you do not have good confidence in the stiffness values. Red regions, in this case, you can see are blood vessels. The system now has the smarts to be able to remove that information and say, this is not a confident region for stiffness. Don't measure here. So you, allow, you now get the confidence map and the stiffness side by side to be able to quickly get robust estimate of liver stiffness. One of the other kind of tools that makes up the package uh, that we have on the ultimate liver solution is contrast enhanced ultrasound. And contrast enhanced ultrasound was approved outside the US for a long time. In 2016, 
It's now approved in the US for looking at liver lesions in both adults and pediatrics. And with contrast, what you're doing is injecting a specific ultrasound contrast agent into the patient's bloodstream, which enhances the blood flow in different parts of the body. So what you can see here is a few images where the contrast shows you what the vasculature is. And by looking at how quickly the contrast enters the liver, enters the tumor versus the background, and looking at the kinetics of the contrast agent, the wash-in and the wash-out, you can make a determination as to whether a particular tumor, a lesion, is malignant or it's benign. So this is a very kind of, uh, this is a very dependable diagnostic tool that you can use for managing liver lesions in the patients that already have cirrhosis, that have reached an advanced stage of liver disease. One of the other key pieces of the ultimate liver solution is fusion and navigation. With fusion and navigation, you have multiple modalities that can be combined with live ultrasound. You can have your historic CTs, your MRs, your CT PET scans that you can pull onto an ultrasound machine, fuse it very quickly with the live ultrasound image and be able to use that to guide your treatment or to guide your biopsies. So this significantly increases the clinical confidence in doing biopsy procedures, in doing ablative therapies for the patients that need treatment for tumors that have already turned malignant. So when you put it, all this together, this is what we call the ultimate ultrasound solution for liver assessment. It has four, component, it has four key components. One is the pure wave technology on the transducer that underlies all of the rest of it that's built on top of it. It increases the clinical confidence. Use of contrast enhanced ultrasound, which is now approved in the US for use for liver lesions, allows you to be able to uh, decrease the radiation and get accurate diagnosis of liver lesions. With Elasky Imaging, as you, can, as you saw, you can improve the treatment and outcomes by identifying patients that have had significant liver fibrosis. By using fusion and navigation, you can decrease the procedure cost as well. And by putting all these pieces together, what we are looking at is to be able to empower the healthcare providers. You now have the tools to be able to give an accurate diagnosis to the patient and to improve the patient experience as well. And this is, this is the kind of theme, this is the goal behind the Philips Innovations. What we are looking to do is improve the value of imaging through the continuum of care. And the reason we do it is because improving patient care is what our innovation, what our technologies are made for. At this point, I'd like to take any questions, any inputs that you have.